Directions. For each question, you will hear four statements about a photograph. Listen and select the one statement, A, B, C, or D, that best describes the picture. Then, mark your answer. You will hear the statements only once. Look at the photograph and listen to the four statements. Example A. He's working on a computer. B. He's drawing on the board. C. He's walking into the room. D. He's sitting near the desk. The best description of the picture is statement B. He's drawing on the board. You should mark answer choice B. 1. A. She's taking something to a customer. B. She's standing at the reception desk. C. She's about to send a fax. D. She's talking on the phone. Two. A. The women are in an exercise class. B. The instructor is sitting on a stair. C. They're waving at the window. D. The curtains are closed. Three. A. He's examining a card in the garage. B. He's trying to repair the car door. C. He's driving the car into the repair shop. D. He's fixing a tire on the car. Four. A. The tourists are swimming in the lake. B. There's a boat on the water. C. It's a very large snake. D. There are some trees under the water. Five. A. The driver's door is open. B. The trunk is unlocked. C. The man is standing in the truck. D. The man is getting out of the truck. Six. A. She's closing the store. B. She's cleaning the window. C. She's sweeping the floor. D. She's looking at the door. Similar sounding words. For each photograph, you will hear four statements. Listen and choose the correct statement. A, B, C, or D. Do not be distracted by words that sound similar to what you see in the photographs. 1. A. The woman has a black cat. B. They're leaving the park. C. The weather is cold, but it's sunny. D. The dog and its owner are in the dark. Two. A. She's looking at the sink. B. She's using the copy machine. C. She's making a drink. D. She's folding a paper cup. Three. A. The man is making a complaint. B. The room is being painted. 
C. Two shelves are on the light. D. The leader is in the middle of the room. Incorrect keywords. For each photograph, you will hear four statements. Listen and choose the statement A, B, C, or D that best describes the photograph. Listen carefully for any incorrect keywords. One. A. It's dark outside. B. Two people are sitting on the floor. C. There are some large sofas in the room. D. The windows are half closed. Two. A. Someone is riding a scooter. B. The scooter is lying on the road. C. An L sign is on the back of the scooter. D. There's a chain around the front wheel. Three. A. She's using a computer. B. She's holding a piece of paper. C. She's opening a document. D. She's wearing a long jacket. Incorrect interpretations. For each photograph, you will hear four statements. Listen and choose the statement A, B, C, or D that best describes the photograph. Do not be misled by false accounts or unsupported assumptions. One. A. She's listening to music. B. She's writing on a piece of paper. C. She's typing at a desk. D. She's going to sit down. Two. A. He's asking for help. B. He's taking the box away. C. He's sitting on a cart. D. He's lifting a large box. Three. A. A tennis match is about to start. B. The tennis courts are closed. C. The ground is very wet. D. They're building some tennis courts. Directions. For each question, you will hear four statements about a photograph. Listen and select the one statement A, B, C, or D that best describes the picture. Then mark your answer. You will hear the statements only once. One. A. He's filling the car with gas. B. He's loading the truck. C. He's putting something in the trunk. D. He's going to change the tire. Two. A. There's some fruit on a plate. B. The food is on the floor. C. People are sitting on the sofa. D. There's a saucepan on the table. Three. A. The man is standing on a chair. B. The man is fixing the lights. C. The people are sitting outside. D. 
The chairs are facing the poster. Four. A. She's sitting on the counter. B. She's working at a computer. C. She's looking at the picture on the wall. D. She's talking on the phone. Five. A. They're waiting for a bus to arrive. B. They're standing in the rain. C. They're getting on a bus. D. They're boarding a train. Six. A. The pillows are on the floor. B. The woman is making the bed. C. There's a picture above the bed. D. Someone sleeping in the bed. Part one. Directions. For each question in this part, you will hear four statements about a picture in your test book. When you hear the statements, you must select the one statement that best describes what you see in the picture. Then find the number of the question on your answer sheet and mark your answer. The statements will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Look at the example item below. Now listen to the four statements. A. They're moving some furniture. B. They're entering a meeting room. C. They're sitting at a table. D. They're cleaning the carpet. Statement C, "They're sitting at a table," is the best description of the picture, so you should select answer C and mark it on your answer sheet. Now, part one will begin. Number one, look at the picture marked number one in your test book. A, he's parking a truck. B, he's lifting some furniture. C. He's starting an engine. D. He's driving a car. Number two. Look at the picture marked number two in your test book. A. Some curtains have been closed. B. Some jackets have been laid on a chair. C. Some people are gathered around a desk. D. Someone is turning on a lamp. Number three, look at the picture marked number three in your test book. A, one of the women is reaching into her bag. B, the women are waiting in a line. C, the man is leading a tour group. D, the man is opening a cash register. Number four. Look at the picture marked number four in your test book. A. The man is bending over a bicycle. B. A wheel has been propped against a stack of bricks. C. The man is collecting some pieces of wood. D. A handrail is being installed. Number five. Look at the picture marked number five in your test book. A. An armchair has been placed under a window. B. Some reading materials have fallen on the floor. C. Some flowers are being watered. D. Some picture frames are hanging on a wall. Number six. Look at the picture marked number six in your test book. A. She's adjusting the height of an umbrella. B. She's inspecting the tires on a vending cart. C. There's a mobile food stand on a walkway. D. 
There are some cooking utensils on the ground. Strategy review and tips about strategy. Remember, in the test, quickly preview each photograph before you hear the statements. Ask yourself where, what, who. Listen carefully to all four statements before making your decision. While you listen, eliminate any answers that you are sure are wrong. If you are not sure about the answer, don't waste time. Decide quickly. As soon as you answer, move on and preview the next photograph. Here is some advice for this part. You can try to use them. Don't read the directions at the start of this section. Use the time to preview the photographs. Most statements focus on the general situation or the main activity. However, a few statements are about small details. Watch out for those. If you can't immediately connect the statement with what you see, it is probably an assumption. Remember, a fact is something that is definitely true. An assumption is something that may or may not be true. Subscribe to continue listening to my English radio where I will share interesting